my name is triple and i and i think it's finally time to do a full lab tour long due i've meant to do a proper video about it for a very very long time but uh, well it's uh, the 13th of august i'm leaving for germany on 15th so i think today's the right day to do it so we'll start over here well uh, first off i'm going to show you everything as it is so i've not particularly paid attention to cleaning anything or making it look presentable this is as it is 100% natural as i left it so first up 3d printer so i got this dust cover a while back for 1 and 1/2k because well india is dusty disgustingly so and i didn't want to keep vacuuming my 3d printer very often and yes that's my reflection i'm wearing my classic red t-shirt and gray shorts so this is my um 2 year old ender 3 which is basically okay it is in stock i forgot that i modified it so i put in a new or whatever you call it skr v3 mini controller a fake bl touch a 3d touch and of course all this orange stuff that's apparently meant to keep dust out of all the crevices it is currently being used as a temperature chamber which is why i have a pi connected to it the controller case is off and so is the build surface uh, it's placed on this table which i've had for the last 6 uh, years why do i keep saying 6 2015 was 7 years back and there's the chair that i used to use with this lab it's super worn out now I don't think I'll be seeing this chair again but no point in being sentimental and then there's this bar stool which was supposed to replace this but it ended up being too high unfortunately and of course my Keatley 2000 multimeter straight from the UK scored it completely for free my Raspberry Pi 4B with the uh, 8GB RAM which has been surprisingly useful over the last few months I've been automating basically every single interesting measurement i've made so far a uh, pi pico usb to uart bridge complete with uh, there's an inverter and some level translation in there i think i should mention this it's my famous 6 foot long red usb a to micro cable also very handy i was using it all the time while testing multi slope assorted cables and stuff my trusty tripod which was replaced by the 3d printed phone stand clamp but then i broke the screw and uh, well can't use it anymore it seems to be surprisingly delicate there's the extension cord thing what what do we call these things we call it a spike buster but i think there's a another proper name a power strip exactly there's a power strip here and there's a extension cable somewhere under the bed let's uh, move on to this side i cannot not talk about my trusty sony bluetooth speaker well it, it has a bluetooth functionality you can use it any way you want best sound quality i got it for christmas 2016 always connected to my laptop i cannot solder without listening to music on this thing and uh, here is my computer table which is a recent addition i got this set up in october there's this which is a pcb stand clamp two boxes full of 3d printed base which i'm basically going to throw away a few large failed projects that didn't exactly fit in the boxes my tripod cover a few other things i want to give away before i leave including my phone cover a card holder a pi case and a clapboard then there is a, a few one empty roll of orange filament one half full roll of black filament and here's my laptop table my trusty black notebook where i write down all my notes a cutting mat my mechanical keyboard with the new keycaps calculator old phone sticky notes there used to be a lot of crap here but i cleaned it up an armband my cousin made for me 
German flag colors. Another failed project doubling as a pen stand with my favorite black gel pen from the US. And a pencil which I went out to buy. I remember this particularly because I was sick that day and I had to go out all alone. A bookmark, another gift from my cousin. And of course my boat ear pods. Can't understate the importance of my laptop. Wouldn't have been possible to edit my videos otherwise. Bottle, stay hydrated, etc, etc. There's some stuff inside here. All these assorted books belong to my mother and this shelf is basically mine. A few printed schematics and stuff for the Keithley and the TTI. A few books, journals that I hardly use, some of my older notebooks. Folders absolutely chock full of uh, railgun notes. I will miss these. Uh, product brochures and stuff. Of course, the TTI which hardly gets any use, unfortunately. I hope I'll be able to find a place for it wherever I settle down next. My very precious copy of The Art of Electronics and The Art of Electronics X chapters, which I treat as like my bedtime books. More written material. I've collected all my written stuff. I used to write in loose papers, but then I switched to the notebook. Um, yeah, stationery, not my stuff. My old uh, keycaps. School stuff, which I still have for whatever reason. And now to the main attraction. This built-in study table, which came with a flat. This is a rented house. I didn't want this room originally because, uh, well, it had only two slit windows. The other room has a balcony and I really wanted the balcony, but in the end, this thing ended up being a blessing. This is where Triple and I was born. So whoever comes next, I I highly doubt if anybody will know what this room was used for. I'll just leave a sticky note on the underside of the drawer for whoever is going to live in this house next. Historic significance. Right, uh, let's begin from the top. That was too loud. I hope I didn't wake anyone up. Um, A bunch of electronic waste, including my old soldering iron, a bunch of fans, a bunch of batteries, which I should definitely dispose. A bunch of old heat sinks, capacitors, transformers, breadboard, I mean, buff board stuff. Uh, old radios and other crap. My hot air gun. Uh... PCBs, PCBs, parts, railgun parts, PCBs from Mosh Park. Over here we have a bunch of assorted stuff which I may or may not have featured. The famous Marco Reps package, another one from my Slovakian friend. Do I really need to show you what's inside these? No, I couldn't be bothered. Uh, assorted stuff, capacitor kits, screws, resistor kits, transformers, wires. A uh, battery charger. I don't have lithium polymer batteries anymore. I thought of selling this one, but I mean, I might as well keep it. Don't have to buy another one in the future. Logic analyzer, micro bit, which was a thing. I took it to school and did some cool stuff with it. A microscope hidden at the very back. Another organizer for all my old projects. A very inefficient way of storing them, but whatever. All stuff from 2016, 17 and 18. Uh, stuff I built on perf board, mostly sponsored PCBs and a bunch of cables, including my scope probes and stuff. Moving on. A uh, relic from 2021, a bunch of cables, more cables, GLC PCB keychains. A draw here for PCB adapters, zip ties, Lika gel, Pipe Eco. I have a complete draw dedicated to Pipe Eco because I like it so much. And a bunch of assorted stuff. Um, jumper wire that you can solder to and cannot solder to. I have no idea what this is. Alright. Uh, More relics from the past. Tape. Can opener, I mean bottle opener, bunch of assorted stuff, including these uh, 
flexible tie things and other assorted stuff uh, stationery including my blade my pcb ruler bunch of markers other stuff which i hardly ever use once again um puff board other assorted junk uh lcr meter this is the digitizer which ran out of battery and has been hardly used a uh, keypad which was very slow and i couldn't use again a relic from 2019 this uh, thing which i made in class 5 is now my um tool stand a couple of scissors this one to strip wires and this one to cut stuff tweezers and all sorts of stuff a brush to clean flux a screwdriver used to pry stuff open and of course breadboards although i only ever used this one this is my favorite breadboard which i got as a gift uh parts organizers this is the new one full of resistors and this is the old one uh transistors capacitors which is all sorts of cool stuff and this is the most prestigious of them all precision stuff including expensive references resistors and other parts a pile of uh, junk that i i use this drawer as temporary storage coil craft samples which i have a huge bunch of junk switches connectors and fuses and uh, more stuff my t3a soldering iron which i got a couple of months back absolutely no regrets buying this i really really like it and i've enjoyed every second working with it my original etx supply which i've been using since 2016 although i don't use this now unless i need high power for capacitor chargers and stuff a roll of okesh solder a relic from 2018 a ds1054z oscilloscope which i got for my 15th birthday diy power supply function generator clock multimeter since i've had since which i have had since 2018 the esd mat another relic why do i keep saying relic i got this in october a bunch of projects one project that i'm working on right now the 3d printed phone clamp magnifying glass well i don't need to go through every single thing here temperature chamber and this stuff was taken from this drawer all relics which i will keep for sentimental reasons pen drive sd card an apple sticker that's really out of place i don't know where to put this moving on the assorted drawer where i have my silicone wire earbuds to clean flux uh, what we call in india a waste cloth a clear tape old screw drivers heat shrink solder wick a tape measure my favorite screw driver set from xiaomi i will be taking this with me soldering iron tips a small spray bottle of ipa old multimeter which still sort of works more tape more sticky notes a bunch of uh, rubber legs i mean rubber pads super glue wd40 an old broken lighter double sided tape heat gun temperature gun uh sandpaper nail polish remover electrical tape excess solder ferric chloride soldering sponges and more stuff including these things i stole from school capillary tubes my lighter a nice bottle soldering iron tips there's a copper piece inside that gives this a really nice green flame and further down is my to do tray where i have projects i'm working on clean this up a while back so there's hardly anything in it because i'm essentially done acrylic blah 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 some pcb material ouch 
FR4 that is old scrap PCBs which I will very sadly have to dispose of I don't see the point in storing them and letting them gather dust moreover I haven't salvaged a single thing from them for a very long time so I don't see the point I rarely do it uh, two dustbins organic waste and plastic waste of course I eat a lot of chocolates a whole bottle of isopropyl alcohol which I bought recently but haven't used much sadly I'll be giving this away to my mother so that she can use it to clean grease in the kitchen I hardly need to talk about my bed and my blankets bookshelf relics gifts my parents got rich and of course this my bean bag I eat breakfast here the view out of the window is super good in the mornings. I will miss this view. So I just sit down and enjoy. So that's pretty much it. A 15 minute tour of Triple NI Labs which will soon be closed for a very long time. Yep, I hope I make it big in Germany.